To introduce the project, we'll be looking at what are some of the inspirations and issues that we are looking to resolve. The first one is that traffic lights are configured under a standard schedule which does not account for variations in traffic. For example, there are things such as tra traffic hour when people are leaving or going towards work, or when there is almost minimal traffic due to it being in the middle of the night. The second is that traffic cameras are almost not available on smaller streets and only really available in the larger uh, cross sections. And third is that our device will use hardware and software to optimize traffic congestion and traffic speed while expanding on current traffic monitoring methods. To address slow or unsafe traffic flow, a design of a camera that is capable of identifying and counting vehicles in low resolution environments is created. To handle car identification and counting, a machine learning and computer vision model called the You Only Look Once model, YOLO, is employed. This model is capable of identifying objects given a labeled data set and enough training time. For the project, the YOLO model is trained using the MioVision Traffic Camera Dataset, MioVision TCD, which contains several hundreds of thousands of images from vehicles for a traffic camera perspective. Unlike other datasets, the MioVision TCD uses solely traffic camera data which provides a unique perspective with respect to the angle in which it identifies vehicles. In addition, the MioVision TCD allows us to identify different types of vehicles at this angle, including articulated trucks, bicycles, buses, cars, motorcycles, pedestrians, pickup trucks, single unit trucks, and work vans. In cases where the vehicle may be too far or obscured to be detected, the MioVision TCD allows two additional classifications called the motorized vehicles and the non-motorized vehicles. The number of instances per type of vehicle is found in the MioVision TCD is described here which highlights a clear distortion towards identifying vehicles. However, this can be desirable if the majority of vehicles that pass through for the roadways are cars. Our current project is capable of the following items concurrently. Object detection, object tracking, live streaming, and local storing of tracking data. In addition, we are verified with the precision of the model by providing the test values in this confusion matrix. The confusion matrix evaluates the accuracy of the model's performance. Elements on the diagonal line indicate that the prediction of the model matches that of the testing data. The higher the values in the diagonal, we can the see higher your accuracy the model has in testing. We can see it's detecting different types of vehicles, namely cars and pedestrians here, uh, all in the same frame where we would expect our traffic feed to come from. And here we can see, similarly, our cars being detected as they come through and they get closer to the camera. For the sorting algorithm, we can see that our tracking data is relatively stable at around six vehicles. And we can see that it's keeping track of which cars have already been counted, and it's not adding that into a further count so we can give accurate data to NDOT or whichever entity would like to access this information. Alongside our robust software, our hardware is also compatible to use cellular data, or LTE, using an ECMO setup to use the USB network interface rather than any W10 interface. This is for security purposes. The antenna has a 3-port antenna, which is an LTE main and diversity to ensure good connection when utilized using LTE, and a GPS so we can know the location of our device whenever it's in use. We are hoping to provide local governments with a cost-effective implementation of traffic cameras which need minimal maintenance. These cameras are highly portable due to their expected wireless capabilities and they are meant to be sustainable for future data collection. Using this product, public entities such as the Nevada Department of Transportation can easily automate the process of detecting traffic increases and extracting further information. Our product demonstrates that a low-cost, low-powered device is able to be implemented in conjunction with a robust AI detection and tracking software. In addition, our team is able to implement this AI and transmit the video feed to YouTube via live stream. There is some room for improvement. For example, we could integrate solar power to make the camera truly wireless. Doing so would mean we would have to reduce the power usage of the camera so that the power provided by the solar panels is truly sustainable. Thus, we would also want to replace the calculations in the camera with the calculations in a separate powerful server. Finally, we want the camera to be customized on a PCB to only include the essential features. This would involve cellular data, GPS, a port for solar power, and the camera features, etc. Overall, there could be some improvements to the traffic camera device, but we demonstrated incredible capabilities of the device using some of the simplest pieces of computing hardware.